Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, Nazar here, or Naz. Check this out. This is what we're uh, reviewing today and comparing to this bad boy. That's right. They look strangely familiar to each other. But yeah, if that's something uh, you want to see happen, then uh, stick around. Um, I already got the, the tape off of this situation here. So we're going to open this street weapon. <laughs> Liberty Walk E30, uh, <sighs> ER34. There you go, ER34. So uh, let's pop this open, street weapon. Let's review this. Let's take a look at how it stacks up. Yeah, yeah. You got me. I already got the screws off. <laughs> I, I just didn't want to mess with all that. Plus, I just had a live stream. If you're into R34s and you're into uh, seeing a whole bunch of different ones, um, check out that video. It's uh, It was just a live stream. And I was showing off everything I have that's R34 livery or R34, uh, you know, stuff like this, R35, you know, stuff like this. This is also a street weapon, by the way. Look at that thing. What's it called? Uh, the Stagia? St 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 whatever. Anyway, really cool stuff. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get this <laughs> unwrapped. Oh wow, I, we can rewrap this fairly tightly. So much for that. Well hey, you don't have to wait for uh, for me unscrewing this, right? <laughs> so we'll get this done quick. Alright, first and foremost, we have a little insert here. Street weapon with a little blueprint-like outline of the car. So I assume the company company is Ghost Player or the current owner of the street weapon call sign <laughs> so there you go there's your uh clear case display case um now if you watch my videos you know that uh, i usually complain about these as you can see right there in the middle here and here you have contact rubbing so um this doesn't help much because this is already screwed into the base, like not right now because I unscrewed it, but uh, this is already screwed and attached to the base. It's not going anywhere. What's the purpose of this? You know what I mean? Um, other than actually damaging <laughs> the item itself. Um, I've, I've purchased uh, on only one model before. Um, no, two actually, sorry. Uh, I have two damaged items because of an uh, insert like this. Where it got scuffed on top of on top of the roof and on a hood because of uh, of this thing, which is completely unnecessary. I mean, at least maybe put like a wax paper there or something for this to uh, where it touches it. But this is unnecessary and it ruins the item. And maybe you can save some money by not making extra non biodegradable garbage plastic. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for that. So let's uh, let's take this bad boy off there. Uh, this is a limited edition of 499 and uh, mine is 232. So I'm right there basically in the middle. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, um, Liberty Walk, um, the silhouette or whatnot, right? Uh, edition R34. So let's close this up. Let's have a look at it and then uh, we will compare it to this like I promised. So uh, th these things already now go for about, it's 2024, right? So uh, February, um, as of today on eBay, these are about 90 bucks. So um, yeah. <laughs> this little guy right here, street weapon, you can pick up for about, I would say 30 bucks at the most. They're roughly on average $25. And uh, wait till you see the comparison because <laughs> this thing is epic. Um, so yeah, so let's get this thing going. So first of all, how freaking cool is that? Let's have a little zoomage, just a smidge. There you go. You got these beautiful headlights, which are detailed in of themselves. Like, look at that. You got 
like a two-stage sculpt to them. You have a clear, uh, clear shell, and then you have those little three tub wells with little imitation um, headlamps, like light bulbs in there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous amount of detail for a headlight. I love it. All right, then we have actual mesh inserted into behind these uh, openings there for the air intake and stuff. That's really cool. The hood opens, we'll get to that. Uh, wheels, we have five spokes with rubber tires, Advan lettering, lettered, wow. Uh, five spoke, um, disc brakes, calipers. That is cool. A uh, little exhaust pipe right there, which is an actual little piece of, I believe, metal pipe actually inserted in there. Oh, there's uh, an actual, is there? Let me see. I'm trying to focus on that. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little mesh back there. Yeah, they inserted an actual mesh right back there. Look at that, you can see it. That is so cool. Uh, rear tail light, uh, rear mirrors have little uh, chrome stickers in them. Insane detail. Uh, rear tail lights are clear, translucent, not clear, uh, translucent red plastic inserts. The back wing is awesome. Look at this. Uh, that little triangle bit right there. Look how skinny that is. It definitely feels metal. I must feel like it has to be at that size. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. <sighs> Beautiful wing, man. There's like... One, two, three, four, four pieces that go into making just that wing. That's crazy. Now, sadly, it doesn't have the GTR badge or the um, letters of Skyline spelled out. It's okay. Nice diffuser back here. Uh, the base is plastic, sadly, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, look at the detail. So you have uh, all your livery, all of the sponsors right there in the back. Look at that. Bride, Advan, freaking Liberty Walk, Liberty Performance, <laughs> Nissan Skyline on the front, AK Produce. Beautiful yellow roll cage on the inside. Window defroster lines, <laughs> red seats. Dude, the list, like, do you hear me talking? Like, I have been nonstop describing every detail of this freaking thing. Oh, yeah, all the way through uh, blue lines, usually on Hot Wheels. Well, we'll, we'll compare. We'll compare in a second. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> the uh, hood. Look at that. So I have to mention this, the hood, I don't know what kind of sorcery is happening here, but it feels like it has those gas pistons. Like there's resistance when you open it and when you close it. Like see, it goes down slow. Like it doesn't just snap like a metal, whatever. That is really nice. Ooh, look at that. That's an insane amount of detail inside that engine. Red, chrome, gray, blue, black, white. <laughs> Look at that oil cap. Just a separate chrome little oil cap. Painted separately. <laughs> wow, you can see the radiator. Everything in there, that's like... Almost like a um, Kaido house detail in the engine bay. Like on par, really. 
Oh, another awesome detail. See the mesh here? That's real mesh. You can see, like, look, you can see the engine through it. How cool is that? I love it. Dude, this thing is a freaking masterpiece. <sighs> okay. Okay, you guys ready for the uh, comparison? Let's have a look at the uh, Hot Wheels. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> there it is. Yes, I, I have one in package and I have one out of package. So, um, because you got to, mister. So once again, if you're buying one of these right now, 2024, February, this will cost you 90 bucks on eBay to buy this whole thing. Um, I found one in the store by myself, and another one was given to me by my good friend Keith Pondo. Uh, thank you, sir. So I opened the uh, the one that I found, and I kept the sealed one that was a gift uh, so I can hold on to it. All right, so first and foremost, <laughs> so if I bought mine for about 12, 13 bucks in, at Target. So you get the transport truck and you get this car for about 13 bucks. So, you know, about seven, seven bucks each, whatever, you know, and you get a really cool little blister pack and card art and all that. It's Hot Wheels. So, and this is a little nod to Fast and the Furious, the racer's edge, you know, which is really adds a lot. Uh, I would say, to uh, the whole package. <laughs> so, all right. Why don't we uh, do that right there? <laughs> Get that wrinkle out. There we go. All right, so. So here's the Hot Wheels. Um, Hot Wheels has much bigger wheels. As you can see, these are slammed lettering. Uh, th no letters on this, five spokes, uh, not chrome. Let's keep these together, there we go. Hot Wheels seems to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little, like just a smidge, like a little bit, almost the same, but bigger. <laughs> All right, look at that, R34 sandwich. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, so Hot Wheels, this is Hot Wheels. Uh, so as you can see, we have... So headlights, no comparing. Uh, Hot Wheels are all painted on, the grills painted on. Everything here is drilled out, holes with mesh, uh, headlight detail. Hood opens with the engine. This has no opening hood and everything is painted on. Uh, oh, the hood is a hole, so those are actual holes there. No mesh, which is fine. Uh, there's a livery on the hood here, which this one doesn't have. Interestingly enough, actually, <laughs> why not? But, you know, it's on the, on the windows here, though. Nothing there. So no detail really to speak of on the inside. Like it does have a roll cage, it's gray. And the rest of everything is black. With details, granted, just not painted. You know, this one has red seats and yellow roll cage and side, uh, side uh, windows. This one has open windows, interesting. Uh, the pipe, side pipe, is just a part of the base, a little plastic nub, as this one is an actual little pipe. Alright, so obviously the whole wing is a part of the, the whole, the cast itself. Tail lights are painted on. So not much to compare uh, as far as details go. This one's clearly the, the, the undisputed winner. But Hot Wheels is no slouch, to be honest with you. This is still a very cool casting, and I love having it. They did a really beautiful job. Like, all of this is just beautifully done, considering that, you know, it's 
if it wasn't a team transport uh one premium hot wheel is about seven bucks you know 2024 a uh, year so this thing goes for about 25 bucks on average so oh and the one setback of this car you know <laughs> engine mesh everything all the crazy detail uh the wheels don't roll so um i'm gonna get my screwdriver out and we're gonna see what's in there so stick around for that but as far as uh comparing these two as you can see hot wheels is pretty cool man you got at least you got toyo tires and uh movie appropriate uh, fast and the furious florida tags so that's something uh this is still the winner for me. Like, if I couldn't find this one, because it's they're impossible to find and they're ninety dollars, and I could only get this, I would not complain. So, those of you that didn't find these, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, hit up uh, diecastcrepo.com. That's where I got this from. Uh, check out their website. I think they still have these. So, depending on when you go, I know they sell out of stuff quick. Uh, you can actually get 15% off if you use uh, my code, which is nostalgic. You get 15% off your purchase. So it's like getting tax off. Uh, pretty good deal, I think. So check them out. DieCastCreepo.com right there on the screen. Not sponsored. He's just my boy. So uh, shouting them out. <laughs> I get a lot of my stuff from him. Uh, so yeah, same thing actually on... Uh, uh, what not you can check him out diecast creepo and uh, mustang queen is his girl she also does some good stuff there okay um so let's put that away uh let's open this but before that here here's a hot wheels main line look nothing painted r34 <laughs> here's the first uh premium with stuff painted much better look at that like no stripes at all on the main line at least they have it on a hood there like quality really varies that's why like getting something like this just one and done and you're good to go look at that beauty so yeah r35 with that livery just showing this to you quick <laughs> if you want to see the longer video i have that up on youtube as a live stream you'll see like a picture of all of these r34s on a thumbnail look at this R33, then you have the Supra with the livery on it, <laughs> and of course the uh, the Skyline um, ID card that I recently purchased, uh, reacquired it for my collection. I used to have like eight of them, uh, sold them all at the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction to benefit Ukrainian volunteers there, and then I was like, oh no, I sold all of them, <laughs> so I ended up uh, finding one on eBay for a very good price. Uh, and uh, that was probably the last one I'll find for that price because they are expensive. But yeah, this is bare metal, really cool. Anyway, uh, yeah. And IDs are done with, they don't make them anymore. Discontinued. Okay guys, uh, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm actually very curious myself. I I have not done this. I want to make sure I don't break anything. Oh no, do I need a bigger screwdriver? I mean a skinnier screwdriver. Oh shoot, I think I do. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think this is a little bit better here. Yes, okay. Uh, they really tightened that up. Jeez. Hope I'm not stripping it. Nope. Bear with me, guys. I want to be careful because I actually like this model. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Here. Okay, guys, let's have a look. See. All right. I don't know what all these hairs are here. Okay, so that looks weird. I feel like with a little bit of customizing, this can be resolved. Yeah, they're they're not meant to spin at all. Holy crap. I'm just going to move the 
stickers. I mean the lettering down so that when I put this back together, it'll be more visible. Okay. Yeah, that is a weird setup, I gotta say. It doesn't change at all how I feel about this. I don't care that it doesn't roll. Uh, I know some people are a bit of sticklers about that, but this is a model. <sighs> like, I guess they have to sacrifice it for the stance. Kind of makes sense, but I see all these other makers do just fine, so I don't know, man. It's okay, I'm cool with it. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, wow. Look at that interior. That is an insane amount of uh, detail there. Fantastic, man. Look at that, separate seats with little pegs, little peg holes for the uh, uh, roll cage. That is impressive, dude. Ooh, so the stick shift is even a separate piece. That's not part of the mold that was inserted. Very cool. Huh. A little stick shift there. Like, you don't even see that through the window. Like, no one will ever see that. <sighs> okay. Um, not taking anything else off here. So... Here's a, another cool thing. Um, I was reviewing a Truano uh, 86 the other day, and they had the same type of window set up. Huh. So the windows actually are separate. So the back window is separate. It was put in from the inside. The outside windows were put in from the outside and then glued in. See that? You can see like the framework on the inside of the metal. So if you wanted to, you can actually like customize and cut those out. <laughs> Same thing for the front window there, a separate piece. Love the uh, steering wheel. I think it looks great. Sorry for the focus, there you go. Here's the whole front console, not painted or anything. It doesn't need to be really not going to unscrew that. And yeah, the engine bay is its own little monster on, on little pegs inserted in there. That is so cool. Yeah, guys, I, uh, I highly, highly recommend this thing, man. That is a fantastic little little model right here. I mean, the detail's insane for the price you're getting this for. That is <laughs> extremely impressive, guys. I am speechless, boss. And yeah, there you go. That's all it takes to put it back together. Just uh, gonna screw that back together. And done. <laughs> So yeah, put those back together. There you go. That's why I moved the uh, advent letters so you can see them kind of poking out there. So yeah, man, uh, there you go, boys uh, and ladies. Uh, finished uh, finished little review right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I sure as heck did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's move these bad boys aside. Put the two stars together next to each other there you go i think comparison wise um hot wheels did great for a seven dollar casting still has rubber wheels beautiful and it rolls uh but i mean look at that stance wise and uh they're both slammed they're both literally riding on the ground so i'm not sure why they couldn't achieve that but then again i mean look Look how those wheels look, you know? Like, that's just awesome. So, yeah. All right. Whew. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to call that a review. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, 
I sure as heck did. <laughs> I usually don't take uh, things apart, but I think I'm going to more and more because it's kind of fun and uh, you see all the detail that's inside that you would never see, you know, otherwise. Um, and then you guys at home don't really have to uh, take them apart because you're like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> so there you go. All right, man. Uh, my name's Nas. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and checking out this little review comparison situation we did. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.